I am a parent slash volunteer and I have two dyslexic kids and come from a long line of dyslexic people. <laughs> What's dyslexia? It's like when you like read a word, it's kind of backwards. Kids First is um, us teaching the kids about different types of um, maybe disabilities that they don't know about, that they don't know, they see their classmates with, but they don't really understand it. Um, and I think they need to understand it so that they can know how to react to differences. They just want to understand and be able to relate. Their first idea is, I want to compare, well, do you like ice cream? Because I like ice cream. And there's not this huge range, so they think in their mind, oh, they're very different. And they're not. Hey, I can't even make the line in the middle. Um, so we're talking about children with autism, and because it's such a broad range of high senses, we just don't know what our friend with, with autism might be experiencing during a regular day at school. So we did a couple of experiments after we watched a video. The children are reading a book, and a friend is standing behind them rubbing a feather on their neck, and they have to keep concentrating while reading the book out loud to their friends, which would be very irritating. And the child with autism can't verbalize, there's something really bothering me, so they might overreact. And we just want to teach the students, we need to be calm, give them a minute to compose themselves so that we can keep going the activity. There's nothing seriously wrong, they just have a very heightened sense. My daughter is super sensitive to the fact that she has a harder time learning, and if she has more compassion given to her, maybe it wouldn't be so difficult. Maybe it wouldn't be so hard for her.